Hey guys, I'm Nita of Bria Nita, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to fix a leaky faucet. Um, my faucet has been leaking for some time, so I can hear it in the next room. It drives me crazy. Um, right here, it just keeps dripping. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go downstairs and we're going to shut the water off to the entire house. Be right back. Okay, you guys, so I turned off the water and the next thing I'm going to do is put my towel down here. I always put my towel down there so I won't lose anything and I get in the tub. So I don't want to lose any screws. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a fingernail file. You can use whatever you need to use to get this, this little thing right here off. So there's a, there's a couple of little grooves. There's one on that side and one on this side. And I'm just going to kind of pry it open. And I removed it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to unscrew the knob. Don't want to lose that screw. And then I'm going to pull off the, the knob. Okay, let's put that there. Next thing that comes off is this little thing right here. This is this adjusts your water temperature. Okay, and so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull this little sleeve right here off. It's just covering over everything. Okay, and the next thing I'm gonna do is pull, is unscrew these screws here. These are some long screws. Let's see if I can get this out of here. part is to is to uh, get this unscrewed but last time I was in there when I had to change it I just it wasn't on it just hand screws so it wasn't on very tight there it is that comes off and now to get the cartridge out let me get a little bit of balance here I'm gonna hold this part and I'm gonna pull And I'm gonna pull the cartridge out. Actually, this cartridge looks pretty old. So I'm gonna end up replacing the cartridge, but not for now. now. All I'm gonna do is replace the, the um, screws inside here. So just a half a turn, there's the screws. What I'm replacing them with is Danko Repair Kit for Delta faucets. It's uh, 88101. So it has your little has your little springs and your washers in here that you need. I'm going to take these out because these look really really let's see. My hands are going to get really dirty. These I'm just going to what I'm going to do is just replace this whole thing right here. Replace the, the um, springs and this part right here. Here's a brand new one. The small part of the spring goes in there. And it sits down in there. That's simple. 
small part of the spring down in there. Just pop it down in there. All right, and these, um, last time I replaced these, um, these uh, little rubber rings, I'm going to replace I'm going to attempt to replace them again. Hopefully I've got the right size. I'm pretty sure I do. And I'm just going to pull this out. It looks pretty worn. Well, I had it a second ago. Hold on. It's pretty worn. Need to pull really, really tight. So, got new springs uh, here, new rubber washers there. Gonna put it back together. If I can get this right, it's just a half a turn down in here. You'll see it. You'll see the grooves. Let's see. There it is. Okay, so it's down in there. This washer looks pretty good. Okay, so there it goes. Now, all I need to do is put all this back together like I took it apart. All right, you guys, I got this in. This was hard for me because I don't have much strength in my hand, so I had to, I had to grab it and push it down in there and get it to, to um, seat down in there really well. Okay, so after that, we're just gonna put it back together because it's, it's ready. It's ready to get back together. So let's get this on here. This is your little temperature thing, gauge. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this on, screw this on, just hand, hand tighten, that's about it, try to get that real tight, alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the plate back on, and this is kind of weird because the bottom is down here, but you got to look up in here and get and, and, and hit those screws just right. One is up here and one is down there. So I might have a little bit of a struggle finding them, but I'm going to try. All right, you guys, no more drip. And what I used was a Delta Genuine part. I had to replace the cartridge because this cartridge was worn. This cartridge is 16 years old. I had replaced um, the parts in it before and I thought I could do that again, but this one is worn.
and there you have it i just fixed um the drip in my faucet in my tub faucet and i didn't have to pay anybody um so if you like this video thumbs up um if you have any comments leave them down below and subscribe and look at these hands these are worker hands bye bye